Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about Azure Functions with Azure Storage Queue Trigger. Azure Functions are basically a serverless model. You can run your piece of code without having to worry about the infrastructure. You can create Azure Functions in Visual Studio and Eclipse and later you can push it. In this video we are going to create Azure Functions in Portal only. Functions are event driven, which means that Azure function can be triggered only in a response to a event. Let's say for example, you can run your Azure functions whenever a item is being added into your Azure storage queue. That is what we are going to do in this video. And one more design criteria is the type of plan. There are three types of plan you can pick up. First two are consumption plan and app service plan. And then the third one is premium one. Consumption plan has a default timeout of 5 minutes. You can even increase up to 10 minutes. But in case if your code runs beyond this uh, 10 minutes, then it is better to host your application in virtual machine or go with Azure App Service plan. Azure App Service and the premium both are not available under the free subscription which I am currently using. So in this video, I am going to create Azure App Service with consumption plan only. Navigate to portal.azure.com and click on create a resource to create a function app search for function app yeah here it is there just click on create now provide the resource group which you have created from your earlier videos and provide a name for your function app so if it is taken it won't let us to provide just provide a unique one yeah this is accepted and then provide a runtime stack so we have various .NET, Node.js, Python. So I'm going with .NET with a 3.1 version. And then region I need to select. So just select the region which is near to your client. And then go for networking. Depending upon your runtime stack, select your operating system. Since I have selected .NET, I'm going with Windows, not with Linux. So just click on Windows. And then the type of plan which I have earlier explained. So these two are unavailable for me. I'm going with consumption plan and monitoring. So here you can select the app inside. So if you don't want any app inside, just give no. So this will create a default app insights. And then provide a tag. This is the optional one. If you wish to provide, just provide a one. It's up to you. You can tag uh, related resources with the same tag name value. So it will be easier for you to identify. So I'm just providing one value. And then that's it. Let's click on review and create. So once we click create, it will take a couple of minutes to get it created. So let's wait for two minutes. So Azure Functions is created now. Just click on go to resource. And this is the tag information which we have provided and just scroll down here you will find functions so here only we are going to create our function just click on add now it is loading just wait for a while so here you can select your development environment visual studio visual studio code i am going with uh, develop in portal so here you have various type of triggers so when you want to trigger this azure functions so that you can select from here whether you want to provide a HTTP trigger or a blob trigger or whatever uh, trigger you want you can just do an explore over here so there are various type of trigger available I'm going with Azure storage queue trigger so just click on add so whenever a uh, item is added to your Azure storage queue this will get triggered so I'm selecting this these are the additional items that you need to fill provide a function name and then the queue which you want to listen and then uh, provide the storage account connection so this is the storage account which we have created from our earlier video just click on this and create a queue provide a queue name so i'm providing this so capital letter so yeah small letter it agrees so now click on create yeah storage queue is now created now provide a name over here so that is the queue i want to uh, listen and you need to add a connection to your storage account 
so that whenever your item is added you can you will get a notification here and it will get triggered so i am going to select the storage account name and yeah so let's wait for a while yeah queue trigger is now added so let's explore what and all items are available here so first one is code and test so here only we will write our code this has two pages one uh, is function.json so here what are the bindings you want to add that you can add up here and in run cxx page only you will write what are the logic you want to implement so here what i have implemented is whatever the item is added to your queue that will get logged so this is the logic i have written over here in case if you want to trigger it manually you can use this option test and run and then uh, we have integration so here what are the type of trigger what are the input and output bindings so everything you can see it from here so this is the trigger which we have added and this is the logic we have written input output everything and then monitoring here you can see the, your historic triggers so how many triggers ran what is this uh, result everything you can see up from there and let's get back here let's cross check whether the items in function.json looks good so the name of the trigger and then the type of the trigger and inbound and then here the queue name and then the connection everything looks good so below is the log so here you whenever an item is added to your queue you can see the logs from here so this is the implementation so it will write logs over here so now let's add a message to our queue so hope you already know about queues and all so i have posted a video also if not just i want you to watch them again so i'm just sending one message and that will be uh, removed instantaneously so let me add second one so i'm providing some random order it doesn't matter what you are providing here so see once you refresh so what are the two item that i have provided here that is already removed in logs also you could find those two items so biryani so whatever the item that i have provided in the message that appears here and then here down if you see chicken 65 so whatever the item that i have sent in the message that is showing in the log so this is how you can create azure functions with various type of trigger and you can run your piece of code serverless and that's it thank you for watching this video and i request you to subscribe my channel and we will meet up again in the next video bye bye